Hey, you don't need to be a hood. Yeah. No, no, because, because you, you're supposed to be making folk feel good when they come to church. Yeah. Hey, Amen. <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say something, but I won't leave that problem. But, but you, you gotta make these folk feel good. Hey Amen. You, you can't be snobby. Now let, 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 let me change. Let me change. Let me change that. Let me change just a little bit here. Now, now, Miller, you, you, you got to understand the rules and revelation too. Now you just don't walk through that door that any time you want to. I'm going to be what y'all want me to be in a minute. I know what you're looking for. But let me give you something first. I, I know you all uh, get mad with them because you're holding the door. Yeah. <laughs> I had one of my members got mad at, at our head usher. And, and they said, said you, you, uh, you, you talk to me. Like, what? You talk to me. Like, what? Uh, the usher hold me on the outside. You know why you were talking? I yelled, yeah, he's holding the me. I said, he know his job. But, but she told me I talk too much. <laughs> I said, I'm going to keep talking long I'm talking the right thing. Amen. Well, help me if you can. Well, I'm, I'm trying to help y'all too now. A lot of times we get off our rockers. Yeah. Yeah. So you remember that and you've been here a long time. That don't mean you do what you want. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot yeah. Usher, yeah. y'all ought to hot at me now. I'm trying to help y'all. Amen. There, 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 there's some orders that the usher have to go by. I, I remember when I was a young lad, a boy in the church, you couldn't chew no gum like y'all doing right now. Y'all think I don't see you chewing that chewing gum. And, 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 and the pastor had already told uh, them urge that if you do it, don't get some more. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll get a fame. They'll come right over to you, hold it to your mouth, and say, It happens. Help me if you can. Amen. 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 And, and, and I've been to some churches where uh, when, when, when folks is up speaking, folks try to go out and watch the whole show jump. Go back and sit down. Help me if you can. Now. It got to be some order. Yeah, it got to be some order. And, you know, if there's no order, and people just jumping up. Jumping up. It, it bothers me when I'm up preaching and folk go to walk. I was, I, I was um, uh, having a funeral at the church, and um, and I don't know what it did like me or what, but... But as long, long as I was sitting down while I was singing and they were talking all that stuff, they were sitting down and listening. But when I got ready to get up the creek, they let me run over folks trying to get out. <laughs> Boy, help me if you can. Hey, Amen. Y'all told them to go back and sit down. If you didn't move nothing up, time, don't move now. Man, Doc. You need the word. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'll leave all that alone. Well, I don't believe y'all like that, but it's tight. But it's right. It gotta be some order. And that's what the usher jobs are. To keep on. Isn't that right? Tell them children to sit down. Yeah, tell them to sit down. You know, when you when you, you know, blow the choir sign, nobody moves. When the preacher get up. That's when you gotta go to the bathroom. Go, go before the preacher gets up. Do I have a witness? Man, no. I'll leave that alone. But one of the joy of the Christian life is the certainty of the purpose that the Holy Spirit inspired in each of us. Amen. And and, and show uh, the saints can sense his purpose. Every saint can sense their purpose. What you do best, that ought to be your purpose. Amen. Do I have a witness? Amen. Now, if you know you can't stand folks saying something to you, you don't need to be usher. Amen. I wish you could help that. Y'all quiet. I'm going to preach it. Amen. But, 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 but 
everybody cannot be a usher. Isn't that right? Yes. yes. I want you to know, my sisters and my brothers, that is that we need to understand that God wants us to be attentive yeah. to what going on in the sanctuary. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yes. I want you to know that we need to understand that 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 it clearly and devote our life energy to the fulfilling of our purpose. All right. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, he wants us to do that. Sometimes that purpose is simply to lighting one candle All right. in one dark corner of the world. Yeah. You you need to let your light shine. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. And, and, and show a few others how to keep uh, the light burning. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let your light shine. Let it stay burning. Because somebody may be lost yeah. in the valley. Yeah. God, good good parents, good parents, good parents has, has a noble purpose. They provide the nutrient and the substance, the strength and fiber for their growing children. Right. Isn't that right? Yeah. Until they are able to stand on their own two feet. Yeah. In other words, in the church, we got to teach folks. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. But as Christians, we are comfortable to know that those of us who finish our course, yeah. complete our mission, Successful so and with honor will reap a reward. Yeah. Reap a reward. Yeah. How many of you want to reap a reward at the end of the way? Man, man, Doc. I, I want to reap a reward at the end of the way. I, I, I want to hear the Lord say, Son, yes, sir. well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Enter into thy joy of thy salvation. Yeah. Let me help you. This text here, this text focuses on Christ as he gives a parable to illustrate uh, the nature of the enterprise sir. Oh, I wish somebody to talk to me. Man, Doc. But in this parable, Jesus dispatched that the servant to whom take all uh, their uh, 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 purpose in, into a, a special task. Yeah. Help me if you can. Uh, yeah, they, they, they took it seriously. They took they, they took their work seriously. They they didn't just just take it and just throw it away. Uh, they, they, they took it and they gained more. Yeah. You you cannot just sit down on what God has given you. Yeah. Do I have a witness? Yeah. You, you need to put it to some use. Yeah. You know, if you've been taught to do a job, yeah. you ought to do it the way it was taught to. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. But you can teach folk now and they, they won't do nothing with it. Yeah. Oh, help me if you can. Yeah. No, they just, they just think that you would just you know, run around by the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, help me if you can. I know I'm right. Yeah. 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 If, if you know what to do, then do it. Yeah. But I understand if you don't know, you can't do it. Isn't that right? Amen. 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 But it said a, a third uh, enterprise take his, uh, his opportunity uh, for service and bury it fearfully. Yeah. And it might be lost. Listen, you need to take your work seriously. Yeah. Because one day your work is going to speak for you. Yeah. Isn't that right? The parable presents the only place in the Bible where the phrase, well done, good and faithful servants, is used, um, and it is the phrase in a unique way because it signifies a servant, a servant that had two of the greatest virtues necessary. For the character life and the character and their conduct. 
your character and your conduct speak loud for you. Yeah, they speak loud. Yeah, they speak loud. There are many in the world who have character, but they come up short on the ability to follow through on uh, their life purpose. Or the word hard at their life purpose. But a uh, visible, and they come visible, and they come up short on the character in you. 